And what we aim to explore in this, the first of a new series of the television programme, is the way television can change, has changed, our entire view of the world in which we live. But there's one point at which the two television worlds meet, a programme that deals with the latest advances in science, medicine, technology, and goes out live before your very eyes from a BBC studio 40 weeks a year. We took a look at tomorrow's world. Thursday morning, after all the research, they hit the studio floor together. By tonight, each one must be clear and quick to fit a live broadcast time to the second. And Judith Hand's story is not simple. This is a cross-section through the chest of the first ever patient to have a body scan by the technique called nuclear magnetic resonance, or NMR. The picture was taken... Hold a second there, Judith. Hillary, don't come to Judith, it says graphic, and that's a TJ. Okay. Right. So carry on, Judith. The picture was taken at Aberdeen University with the patient lying on his back. We haven't got that TJ yet. No. No. The TJ, or telejector, lets the camera show photographic slides. One of a battery of visual aids tomorrow's world's producers and studio director can deploy to help the explanation. Can you just start to go in? You just want to go into, into here, Rob? Uh, just a second, Judith. Hang on, darling. This is it, yeah. That's the esophagus, and this is the area of the cancer. So, well, uh, Dave, can you make us some sort of circle on the Emmy effect spot to uh, just to highlight? Another useful electronic gadget, the light pen. Dave, upstairs in the control gallery, outlines on his screen the area he wants us to pick out of that medical mass, and there it is in a nice electronic circle. <laughs> Good circle. Right? I like the circle. <laughs> He hasn't got a circle, so. Take x-rays, for example. They distinguish between substances on the basis of density. So Simpler still, a light box and an x-ray plate. Just there. They can't easily differentiate between different types of tissue. That area there looks more or less the same. And the doctors investigating this patient with a swollen shoulder thought that this was a malignant tumour. Run TK, ten, nine. Eight, In the control seven, gallery, now the nerve centre of the operation, they can see what every camera shows and suggest changes when yesterday's ideas don't actually help tonight's tomorrow's world. One of Judith's aids maybe doesn't help. I'm not sure why we've got that block there, really, Peter. Now. Down on the floor, morning meets afternoon. As the pressure mounts, the changes are made. On the animation, um, oh, yeah, the screen's about that big. Also, the background's mustard on the animation. Well, yellow, uh, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. And if they're worried, no, but apparently on cameras, the yellow shouts, so we could make it mustard, if that's the problem. Is that the problem, the colour? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what I don't like is just seeing it looks like a bit of cardboard left lying around we made a mistake on, you know. Well, let, let's, let's worry about getting it to the what to do with it. And then we'll worry about that later. And pressing the next Late afternoon, Tomorrow's World's editor, David Filkin, calls his first conference. Now presenters and producers hear what the boss and everyone else thinks of their efforts so far. You've got to launch it. Yes, I know. And, the, and how you get over that is that you've got to have no emptiness on the air. You've got to fill the pauses. I think it's got to be quick after that. And those beans look really bad when they're just on the heat tray and there was no, there were no bubbles. But they were boiling before, but we had to put cold water in to clean it out and it hadn't boiled by the but time. But you know it must oh, be yes, boiling. Oh, yes, it will be. But, but I It'll think you right want an ending night. which says, mm. you've done the melting thing, mm. so the answer's simple. Cooked beans are safe beans. Bubble, 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 take one and eat it. Out. Any other points about that one? <coughs> Good. Uh, <coughs> Sasson, now the, the, the thing's going wrong there. I don't think you understand what we're trying to do, actually. The thing has got to be a quick reference. The whole idea of doing the item is to say in 30 seconds, we told you about Saturn last week, it's all in the papers today. And how does that affect what we told you last week? Because we, well, there, you've those? got you two choices. Last week. Yes, exactly. You've got yeah. to tell them what we said last week, David. I didn't see it and I didn't know what it meant. Oh, that's a that. You probably you won't. You, you tell it was complete <laughs> gobbledygook. A, a good point. A good mm. point. Does anyone want to fight to keep it in? I don't mind at all. Because it's a bit complicated to explain in 30 seconds. Yes. I, th I think drop it. Mm. Okay? In the time we've got. Thank you, Sorry, Laurie. Dev. Oh, Dev. 
The explanation of NMR feels soggy somehow, and I don't know, I've got no bright ideas. I mean, I felt at one point, why don't we actually cut the film of the machine, but then... The general <coughs> feeling I have, that this and the nails item between them have the, have, have the areas of being, feel of being too long, for different reasons. You're not going to cut the nails, um, No, I'm not necessarily going to cut any part, I'm just saying to you, I think it feels too long. Well, I feel it shows that a, an authority like the, the British Medical Authority have actually said, yes, this is OK. And we are, you it, might it really feel that, I don't think British viewers are going to be at all concerned. I really don't. I'm, I'm for dropping.